Today, President Biden officially signed off on some new legislation establishing Juneteenth as a federal holiday. It commemorates the end of slavery in America when the last slaves were told they were free on June 19th, 1865. All right. Thank you. By making Juneteenth a federal holiday, all Americans can feel the power of this day and learn from our history. So throughout history, Juneteenth has been known by many names. Jubilee Day, Freedom Day, Liberation Day, <clears throat> Emancipation Day, and today, a national holiday. New Six's Brian Didlake is in studio with how local leaders are reacting to today's news. Brian? Yes, there are mixed reactions across Orlando as we spoke with activists and community leaders who have varied reactions, with some saying this moment is overdue and others saying it's the mark of new beginnings. I'm grateful, but I want everybody to understand what June means. Our country has been in need of doing this for many years now. On the other hand, I see it as an excuse to kind of sweep all the other issues under the rug. A new six spoke with many people who say they are grateful but hesitant after this. <laughs> President Joe Biden making Juneteenth a federal holiday. It's a day that marks when some of the last African-American slaves in Texas were informed they were free years after the Emancipation Proclamation was signed. Activists from the George Floyd protest seen last year in Orlando say they don't want this day to push other issues plaguing black Americans to the side. And the whole reason why we've been marching for the last year was not to get a bank holiday. It was to get legislation passed for police reform, legislation passed for infrastructure improvements in black areas, legislation passed for, for hate crimes. While others agree with this, some say this is the first step of better to come. So this is not the end. This is not the finale. This is just the start of something great and I am excited. And I think we have to learn also to celebrate small victories. And uh, this is one of those small victories that we can celebrate upon, which will also give us momentum to go further. Local leaders like Orlando City Commissioner Regina Hill says as far as Orlando goes, we are on the right track to a better future together. Better into black wealth and opportunity matters. So we have to continue to move forward with creating opportunities and exposure for those that have been left behind for generations. Other activists say it's important for young people of color to take note of today and reflect. Recognize those who came before you and the shoulders that you stand on and celebrate their history to you of being free Americans. The president saying today he is committed to focusing on racial discrimination and building wealth in the black community. Juneteenth will be taking place this Saturday, and we have a list of events that are up already up on our website and mobile app. But for now, we're live in the studio. Brian Ditley getting results, News 6.